My BFM 31 doesn't like when I go clubbing with friends F26. I have a deep passion for music and relish the joy of dancing with my friends. The sole reason I have ever visited a club is to have a good time with my girlfriends. My partner fails to comprehend this and disapproves of me being in what he perceives as a promiscuous atmosphere. Recently, we had a heated argument because he didn't approve of me returning home late. It's worth mentioning that I go clubbing only a few times a year, not on a regular basis. I'm perplexed as to how I can make him realize that my intention is to enjoy myself and nothing else. Edit. We had a productive discussion and reached a mutual compromise. He can access my phone's location and I will try not to stay out past 3 a.m. I'm happy with this arrangement, and if it brings him joy as well, then that's a bonus. I'm grateful to those who offered their helpful advice, although I received some chauvinistic remarks and accusations of infidelity. Such negative accusations reflects only the commentator's own character and conduct, and anyone who assumes everyone is as weak-willed as they are is living in a fantasy world. Not everyone seeks to engage in extramarital affairs when attending a club, there are numerous other things to enjoy besides stick. Peace, victory hand. It's unlikely you can. People typically fall into two categories for this topic. Don't mind and approve going out with friends always will have an issue of it. A couple of questions to ask yourself is. Is this incompatibility and reoccurring issue something you want long term? Would you look back on your life and regret not enjoying time with your friends for the sake of settling your partner's needs? This is really, really hard. You can't force him to be comfortable with it, and he can't force you to not go. The way you tell it, he calls the situation promiscuous, like everyone who goes to a club is there to mess around. Is it that he doesn't trust you? Or does he not trust the people around you at the club? I stopped dating someone who had issues with me clubbing. I didn't go often, but he hated it so we weren't compatible. He didn't understand that I went to dance with the girls and have fun, I took him with us one time and his version of dancing was just sex without clothes. It made sense why he had such an issue with dancing in clubs. But what didn't make sense was how he claimed to trust me, but not the men in the club. I'm the person he didn't trust, if he couldn't trust men what about the ones who flirt during the day? Has he ever been to a rave with you? Have you offered for him to go? Did he know that you enjoyed rave slash clubbing when you started dating? You may just not be compatible, honestly, especially if this is something you are extremely passionate about. On the one hand, you're 26 and have every right to go and do what you want to do. You have an interest and want to explore it, and have no intention of it blowing up your relationship. So go feel free to do that. On the other hand, you're 26 and know very well that clubbing and coming home at 6 a.m. is frequently associated with hooking up. At 31 I would have not dated you seriously. So do what you want. Your intention matters. But people go out with the intention of innocent fun and something else happens. People also need to understand that they own the perception of their behavior as much as they own the behavior itself. You two are clearly just in two different places. My wife was a club hopper before we met. I personally never had any interest in it. While we were dating, I told her even though I had no interest, I would not have any problem with her clubbing with her friends because I trusted her. She decided not to go anymore, but I encouraged her to go if she really wanted to for probably a year or two after that. She eventually told me she'd rather spend time with me than go to a club and that was it. If you enjoy doing it, you may have to find a new BF that supports and trusts you with it. I'm in the music industry, I wouldn't want a partner that raves until 6am. I'm 34 though, I'm ready for that. Nothing good happens after midnight life. LOL. Neither of you is wrong for feeling the way you do about the situation. Also, neither of you should or can force the other to see and comply with your side of things. I think both of you have to take a look at this incompatibility and weigh its importance in the grander scheme of the relationship. You probably feel that you enjoy this and he should want you to do something you enjoy and trust you. He probably feels that he is really bothered by this and you should empathize with that and not want to engage in behavior that makes him feel that way. 
again, neither is wrong. I will say that if either party feels that they have to put up with something like this it might result in resentment down the road. There is nothing intrinsically wrong with dancing with your friends in a place made for doing so. If he doesn't trust you, then he should NT be with you. If you were doing it all the time at the expense of spending quality time with him, then I'd see his point. If you're going to be out later than expected, it's courteous to call, send a text letting him know. Otherwise, I would just stop arguing about it BC I don't think you're going to convince him of anything. After reading your responses to the comments and your expectations in life, to me, you sound like someone who wants to feel free and uncontrolled. You make appropriate decisions and value yourself as a person. And you have the same expectation for your relationship. Pure acceptance and live your life how you want it. Which is why you're disappointed that you have to cater to your partner and give up something that you know is totally innocent on your side. I believe you would be much happier finding someone more in tune with you. Someone who appreciates your passion for music instead of shutting it down. You can find men out there who say, why are you asking for my approval? Yes, go have your fun. We only live once. To each their own but the issue here is about respecting your partner's boundaries. If you find said boundaries are too extreme then leave the relationship. If you can come to a good compromise then all the better. Personally, I think clubs are for meeting people and hooking up. Bars are okay with friends as long as the intoxication level is minimized. Getting drunk and going home with a stranger is instant breakup. The thing is, you can have the best intentions of why you're having girls trips. Going to clubs and bars to only make a mistake and expect everything be forgiven. You and your boyfriend are not compatible. I get a lot of people get frustrated when they come here to get advice and the advice is to break up but here's the thing. Most of the people who respond in this group are people who have a decent amount of relationships. And practice makes perfect. We learn over time that the best thing to do for yourself when you find out you're simply incompatible is to end things. You're not married you're dating. The whole point of dating is to find out if you're compatible. You've found out you're not. It's simple. Honestly, my ex and I had very different opinions about clubbing. He'd go like every week or every two weeks and would be proud of himself not drinking for 23 weeks WTF. And I'd hate clubbing because I constantly get harassed. The music is loud. People act dumb and it's just annoying me. I'm an introvert too, and also sensitive. Well, we broke up, and I told myself I won't date someone who isn't compatible. Apart from that he was abusive though so it wasn't the main factor I had to leave. What I'm saying is, if you two aren't compatible, and cannot meet halfway or find another way of compromising, things will get worse. So sit down with your partner and talk about it. Ask him why he isn't okay with it, and what he'd like to do to feel more comfortable with you going clubbing etc. It's just incompatibility. Nothing wrong with his boundary and standards. Also nothing wrong with yours. Ah. Here we are, someone else who wants to have their cake and eat it too. I'm sure you and the gals are being total angels. And the men at the clubs always keep their distance. Girl, if you want to stay out until 6am, be single. If you want to be in a monogamous relationship, don't run the streets all night. Pretty simple stuff. Take him with you. Problem solved. If you ask him to go and he refuses that's on him. If he's W you're obviously not hiding anything from him. Have you ever sat up by yourself imagining what your partner is doing at the club while they are? Drinking and dancing with other people? It's not a good feeling. Edit. I know all the club girls will attack me for this. Bring the hate. But please think about what I said too. 
this hole, who could possibly imagine people hooking up at a club? Thing you're trying to pull is really strange. You know people go to clubs to hook up. Pretending not to know that harms your case. Are you really 26? You act like you're 18. I just dance. I'm a perfect flameless princess. Yeah, sure you are. You don't drink or do drugs or anything while you're out. Right? Oh you do? So you like to go to places where people go to get intoxicated and hook up. While you're intoxicated and for some unknown reason your boyfriend doesn't like it. Do him a favor and break up so he doesn't have to deal with someone like you and can find someone. Who doesn't stomp through his boundaries and wonder why he doesn't like it. Both of you are not wrong in your position. Some people don't mind the whole clubbing things. But it's not most people. My partner fails to comprehend this he perceives as a promiscuous atmosphere. What you are doing is just gaslighting and it's not okay. He doesn't fail to comprehend anything. He understand exactly what you mean. The reality is that the, oh I just go to clubs because I like the music and dancing with the friends line have been done to death. Maybe you are sincere. But the reality is that it's only half the truth for most women and guys know it. He doesn't fail to comprehend anything. It's just a situation that make it hard for your partner to trust you completely. Just like preparing a surprise party for your partner can often lead to the partner thinking the other cheat. Maybe nothing bad is happening. But you put yourself in a suspicious situation. Obviously your partner will have some suspicion. Same with the perceives comment. Common. Even you don't believe that yourself. Look around you in a club. Are you telling me it's rare to see drunk strangers hooking up? Of course it's a promiscuous atmosphere. Even if you are not going there to be promiscuous. I'm not saying you are right or wrong here. It's just that it's a pretty standard conflict in couples. You gonna need to find a solution that keep you and him comfortable and maybe some concession on. Both side will be needed. But if you go into it with the mentality of, he failed to comprehend. He perceives as a, promiscuous, atmosphere. How can I make him realize? Etc. Then you are not giving your couple a good chance of finding a solution. You are kind of shaming him for feeling uncomfortable in a situation that would make most people uncomfortable, men or women. And the reason you do that is because it's inconvenient for you. It would be easier if he wasn't uncomfortable. But in couple the feelings of your partner is important. Or at least it should be. This isn't difficult to me. This is honestly a fundamental incompatibility emo. I can't imagine a partner telling me as a grown woman what time I should be at home. Lol. That's really controlling in my opinion. I would honestly break up with him over this because I wouldn't be okay going back and forth and justifying me wanting to have fun with my friends. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.